Look at the tiling on this bridge. Isn't that beautiful? I always thought that was cool here on the uh, Montano Bridge. Well, hello there. And a good misty overcast morning here in Albuquerque. Well, today we are going to head out to the uh, North Valley. And uh, we did uh, last video, we touched a portion of the South Valley. So I thought we'd uh, head out and just kind of explore the North Valley. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll do some driving by and we'll do some uh, uh, getting out and walking. May need the umbrella, but uh, gonna explore what's out there. Kind of look at it up close and personal. Let's go. Oh, I know. I wasn't gonna pass this up. Looks like we've got Tater here from the movie Cars. Pretty cool. Tomater. That's what she looks like on the inside. This one I'm not real familiar with. I guess that's part of the part of that show. Pretty cool. I just happened to stop off here. This is actually the Unser Racing Museum. I've been meaning to get here, uh, but they've been closed the times that I've been able to uh, get here. But we'll have to check that out sometime for sure. Check out this old racer right here. That is pretty cool. But sometimes I just have to stop at just about every place I find fascinating. This is pretty cool. Vasquez Plaza. I like that. It looks like an old uh, mission bell or something. Just wonder how old this place is. And look at this uh, window covering right here. It's all made out of wood. That is cool. That's amazing in that door. Just love it. Just love this old stuff. Oh, there's some more on the side here. That looks like, I don't know, 60s? Ooh, it's downright chilly out here. That wind blowing and a little bit of drizzly rain. But uh, I'm not going to complain about the rain. In fact, you're not, you're not allowed to complain about the rain here. I'll complain about uh, hail damage or power going out for a few hours, but regular rain, you're not allowed to complain here. Okay, we're heading down uh, 4th Street, and we'll probably end up uh, going all the way to the end of 4th Street. That's uh, just an old part of Albuquerque, pretty interesting. Just love the old uh, the buildings and the culture of it all. Of course I have to stop here. Uh-oh, that's where I'm parked. Oh well, it won't be long. Check out the uh, artwork on this building. i got to step back. I can hardly get it all in there. It's cool. Canvas and coffee. Paint and sip. I guess you can... Uh, I don't know. I guess you have some ceramic you can paint while you're having some coffee. Paint on some canvas. Once again, vintage ABQ canvas and coffee. That is interesting. Love it. For the artists and the coffee drinkers. Look at that mission style, I call it. Uh, architecture there. That bright yellow, that is really quaint and cute. Very cool. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I love it. Just love things that are just different, you know. Hey, you can't park there. Hey, llama. Llama. Goat. I see a horse back there. 
Llama? Hello? Too busy eating. That goat right there is too busy standing on a... Oh, there's a goat inside the little doghouse too. Goat standing on it. Well, I just wanted to stop by and say hello. Hello. Well, this church right here is a real staple down here in the North Valley. I've probably shown it several times in my videos. Driven by many, many times. Just fascinated the way it looms up like that in the metal roofing. But I've never taken the time to get out and uh, check it out up close. I think it's interesting. I like old uh, churches and the, the history. Nice trail right here. Little glimpse of the mountains. And this trail goes right down, right past this church here. Let's see what the sign says. Pueblo Alameda. First documented in 1540 by Francisco Vasquez Coronado. Wow. Check that out. Very cool. Now most people would think this is just a modern church, especially when you have a digital sign out here. Uh, maybe made to look old, but it's an old church. It's quite beautiful. There's a lot of history. Wow, I didn't even know it had uh, stained glass windows. Very cool, very beautiful. <laughs> Probably not supposed to walk around this way, there's no real path. But I had to get up here and check out these windows a little closer. Wow, this is so different up close here. Wow. Simple but beautiful. Got this nice little entryway here, some benches. The church is alarmed. I wonder what they're alarmed about. Just the crime and different things going on in this world, I guess. I'm pretty alarmed myself. Well, I don't want to say anybody's fibbing or anything, but uh, it's not open. This is definitely someone's uh, private drive here, but how many times do you see Tonka trucks up on a up on a shed. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Mikasa es su casa. Bienvenidos. My house is your house. Welcome. Okay. I'm gonna come on in then. We're here at a uh, Mexican restaurant called El Pinto, and uh, I'm going to get soaked here, but I just wanted to show you this because this is a quintessential uh, 4th Street, uh, North Valley area uh, restaurant. It's just really cool. I've been here a few times, but it's been a while. I remember it being pretty good. I just wanted to show a little bit of the outside here and uh, just a nice little grounds. Tons of cottonwood trees, which is awesome. Got a little outdoor fire thing there, which wouldn't work now because of the rain. But what a beautiful entrance. Look at this. Established 1962.
Look at the chilies. The hanging dried red chilies. I think they're called Eurystras? I, I can't even remember. It's very cool. I don't want to go inside, but a quick little look right there. Got a little fountain. Pretty cool place. Got more chilies up here. Shoot, I was hoping to get back in the patio. Just have to use my camera to see if we can take a look. Ah, it's nice and quiet. Here's some birds. And some raindrops. Okay, moving on. Let's see if we can find anything else interesting down in the North Valley. Now right here is where 4th Street meets 2nd Street, at the very north end. Then it turns into another highway called 313. And 313 goes all the way north. Uh, if you don't want to take I-25, it'll go all the way north and to Bernalillo and beyond. So we are pretty much out of uh, the North Valley at the very end of town. Basically the, the uh, outskirts of town now. Well, I drove out here hoping to look at some lakes, Sandia Lakes. That's a fun place to go fishing. But my luck, closed for private event. That's not nice. Oh well. I didn't know you could uh, uh, rent the whole place. Well, at least we can turn it into a public service announcement or ad. If you're in this area, Sandia Lakes is a fun place to come and if you're in the northern part of town and you can catch some trout in some uh, pretty easy little ponds, little lakes. I was here many, many, many years ago. It was pretty fun. Check out these views. It's worth coming out here. There's I-25 all the way back there. Getting a little sprinkled on here. Now you don't mess around on the res. That whole area is uh, Sandia Reservation, Sandia Pueblo, and they're they're pretty strict. It's their land, and uh, you need to follow the rules. Well, we're as far north as you can get in the city. We're actually still outside the city. We're on the uh, Sandia Reservation. And I thought it was just a wonderful place to end the video. Just kind of look around here a little bit. It's just beautiful land. Oh, it's like a winter day today. <laughs> Complained about the heat. Now it's the, the rainy coolness. Check out these fountains. Oh man, doesn't that look refreshing? Especially on a hot, hot day. So beautiful. Now straight behind him, that is one of the entrances to the uh, casino, the Sandia uh, Casino. It's a very large, uh, very nice uh, casino. 
they gradually come back up after dropping down. And there's there an amphitheater over here for concerts and what have you. Kind of had a hard time finding it. You could see it from the outside, but I couldn't get figure out how to get to it. Oh wow. How fun. Come here for a concert. It's uh, quite a few seats. Very cool. Well, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I like stopping and finding little quirky things and uh, documenting them, walking around a little bit, driving around, looking for interesting things and historic things and uh, checking out places I haven't seen before. And this is one of them. I love it. I feel like I'm the last person on earth. And I am the star of my own show. <laughs> Yes. Good show. But I appreciate you sticking with me today and riding along and walking along. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Take care of yourself and others. Bye for now. <laughs>